Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trust and True Tarot. This is going to be a daily reading for May 9th, 2022, from a beautiful Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. Let's go into your energy, Pisces. You guys know how I do. One card for my Pisces, what's coming towards my Pisces. One card, two cards for the advice, how you should be moving towards this energy or through this energy. I hope that this assists or help you in some way, Pisces. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Go ahead and hit that like button. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, let's see, for May 9, 2022. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and your support. I love you guys so much and you guys know this. All right, let's see, Pisces, what's going on in your energy? So we have the three of pentacles here in reverse, Pisces. This is about like non-production. Um, not feeling very productive. Someone's not feeling very productive. Someone's feeling like, you know, um, something is sucking a lot of energy out of them. Um, someone's not really wanting to kind of, this could be also like not wanting to reproduce, not wanting to have growth and abundance. Um, the opportunity doesn't look the same anymore. It doesn't feel the same. You know how like you once were very enthusiastic about something and, you know, you were just, you know, very energetic about something. And it's just like, you know, is this something that I want? I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to be a part of this. I don't know if I want to achieve this. And that's the type of energy that I'm getting from you, Pisces. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe this is how you're feeling about a person. Maybe this is how you're feeling about a person, you know? I'm not sure if I want to reproduce or produce something here, work together, fix this, work on this, build with you, continue. It's something in regards to, yeah, an opportunity. This could be your own, I don't know, this could be something that you're working on yourself, you know, something that you're doing for yourself, something that you're doing with a group or a person. Um, this could be, yeah. Hmm. Lack of craftsmanship, lack of teamwork, lack of effort on your part. What's coming towards you? Libra energy, someone rising Venus sign, but we have justice here in reverse. So the scales are in balance. No wonder. No wonder you're not really feeling like producing something. You don't want to build or work on something with someone because you feel like someone is not being a team player. You may feel like someone's not being fair. Someone's not putting in the same effort here too. Yeah, you feel like someone, because it's obviously with the justice here, it's like there's an imbalance here in regards to someone's roles that someone is playing. There's a role here, right? That someone is not playing here. Okay, so someone's not a team player. So the reason why you're doing this is because, oh, okay, so the reason why you're doing this is because someone else is not doing the same. Someone else is not putting the same energy or effort in. So this is why you're feeling this way. This is why this energy is surrounding you. This is why you feel drained. Because I kind of feel like also for some of you guys where this is not something that's practically happening, like you can't put your finger on it, you may feel this energetically and it's draining you. Just the thought of knowing that someone is not going to produce or someone's not putting in the effort or someone's not working. I feel like you're allowing this to drain you, to suck the life out of you, energy out of you, to take the motivation out of you to doing something here um productive okay maybe a work a job uh, maybe working with someone a team play like i said you know maybe a partnership maybe something that you guys are working on together and you just kind of feel like someone's not pulling their weight and i see that someone is not so someone's not pulling their weight they're not putting a lot of effort into something here and it then it's like getting you to the point where you're like okay well i don't want to put this effort in either okay I understand. <clears throat> I feel you, Pisces. I definitely feel where you're coming from. But whatever is coming towards you, whoever is coming towards you, the situation, I do see a lack of balance, a lack of integrity, a lack of fairness on their part when it comes to what you're trying to do, the energy and effort that you're putting in. But I also feel like this person is frustrated. I feel like this person is overwhelmed with emotions and feelings. I feel like this person, I don't know if you know it, this person is um, 
they're going they're I feel like they're fighting some type of mental health issues. Um, they may not realize it. You know how some people are in denial that they have depression, that they have anxiety, that they have stress. This person is going actually they're look, they're fighting this. Like, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they have depression. They have some type of deep seat. Like, something is rooted, deep, deep seated, deep seated. Something is going on mentally. They have some type of mental exhaustion, exhaustion, or they have some type of depression or anxiety going on. Um, mm. I feel like they're trying to get through it or get past something here, but in the process, it's really causing them to um, not put in that same type of effort here with you. So Pisces, let's see with the advice here, how you should be moving towards the situation, what spirit would like for me to give to you, because this person is allowing their stress and anxiety or something here that they're thinking that's on their mind heavily and mentally, um, they're allowing this to not, basically, they're not being a team player, which is causing you to, you know, pull back, not really have that same determination to be a team player with this person. So um, <clears throat> I'm hearing... I go off of energy. So you're saying, I go off of energy. What you're giving me is what I'm going to give you. So that's the type of energy that you're giving in this situation. If this person is giving lack of lacking something and not giving enough of something and you feel like it's in balance, you're not going to produce. You're not going to put in that same effort. And that's how you feel. Um, but with this justice here being in reverse, especially like in the heart of this, I just kind of feel like you have to be very careful with this because... <sighs> I mean, I mean, I'm already looking at this as if Pisces do your part. I'm already getting this energy where don't allow someone to affect you in this way, to throw you off of your game, to take you off of, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't like that. You know, I feel like you, you really don't, don't need to let someone throw you off your game. Okay. Whatever it is that you were producing or doing, don't allow someone to do this. <clears throat> Let's see. With the intentions of the cards being upright, what advice... Should I get to Pisces? How should Pisces be moving towards the situation? All right, give me two cards upright. Yeah, Page of Cups. Tell me more. Yeah, Two of Wands. <clears throat> Over our energy, Six of Pentacles. See, that equal give and take, that compromise, that understanding, that balance. Um, honestly, with the Page of Cups and the Two of Wands, with the Page of Cups and the Two of Wands, Pisces, I do feel like this is about understanding someone. Um, kind of like having empathy or sympathy for someone at this time, you know, before you make any decisions, okay? Um, moving forward in the future. Pisces, the biggest thing for you to do is also to express these emotions and feelings that you're feeling to this person. You know, I'm hearing that someone's not a mind reader. <laughs> like, especially with this nine, of, this nine of swords and this ten of swords, this person has a lot on their mind. So I do not feel like someone's probably doing something on you. I don't feel like they're doing this on purpose. I don't feel like someone is trying to fuck you over, get over on you, not put in the energy or effort that you're putting in, um, you know, not acknowledge something that you're doing. I really feel like this person, you don't really, I don't think you know, but the, I feel like this person is really going through something. And I feel like if it's even because of you or something that you guys are going through together, this person is mentally stuck and in their head and stressed out and having anxiety. Um, they're all in their emotions, mentally, they're just there. It's looking like they're mentally disturbed by a lot of things or by a situation here with you. So I do feel like maybe in the near future, I'm getting soon, very soon. Please express these emotions and these feelings. Please express what, you know, what you feel to this person. Um, if anything, this is the first step is what I'm hearing with the two of wands. This is the first step that you need to take. Okay. Um, in order to put yourself in a place where you want to express this to this person, you have to first be in a place of compassion, which are, you have to be, com you have to be sensitive to yourself. You have to be sensitive to the situation. That's what I'm saying. Have some, have empathy or sympathy for yourself or the situation, or even this person in this matter. So that when it does come out of your mouth, when you do express this, when you do put this out here, um, you know that you've done your part with the three of pentacles, you've done your part, right? So I feel like try to put, 
effort and energy into this. Um, instead of like doing, because it's like you're doing practical things, you're doing things without expressing your emotions and feelings about how it's making you feel, how this makes you feel, you know, to see someone not putting in that same effort or energy or work. Okay. And it drains you. I feel like it's draining you emotionally, maybe even energetically. So maybe mentally, I don't know, physically, you know, so it's just like, you don't want to put in that same effort if you feel like you're not getting it back. So please try this, express your emotions, express the way that this makes you feel to this person. Um, but it's the way you go about doing it too with this um, justice here. You have to also consider their emotions and feelings. You have to also not just uh, ignore what they are going through because everyone has a story. Everyone is going through something here. Okay. I love you guys. And I hope this helped in some way. Pisces, please express your emotions and feelings, please, in the near future or very soon, I'm hearing, take the next step, take the step here to explain to this person um, while being compassionate, while being, while putting your emotions or your feelings or it's like putting your um, heart on the line in some way, right? Uh, where, you know, Pisces, this is the fish here where it may be something that you're shying away from because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to feel um, rejected or, uh, you know, uh, disregarded or um, something here, you know, but it's something that you have to learn, you have to do. OK, it is a part of your own growth, your spiritual growth. It is a part of balance. OK, um, this is what I'm seeing here. And some of you guys may say, oh, I'm not doing shit or I did do that. Well, great. If you did it, you did your part. You did your part. OK, so this could be happening a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind for some of you guys. But I hope it assists you in some way. OK, Pisces.